Hey everybody, Rob Gregory from Longevity Health and Fitness. Wanted to talk a little bit more today about shifting weight and shifting loads. Uh, there's a lot of ways and a lot of things that get called functional training. Um, you know, with, with life, things are not always perfect, things are not always static. So if you get locked into a machine or you get locked into one range of motion that's fixed and doesn't have any variability, or sometimes they use the fancy word perturbation, um, it's, it's not always as functional sometimes as they claim, but at the same time, having something that shakes or puts you on an uneven surface isn't always functional either. Um, how often are you, you know, like surfing on a skateboard when you're trying to carry your groceries to the car? Not always that realistic. But at the same time, we do need to kind of mix in some different things that have variability to what we're doing that aren't always, you know, perfectly locked into position. So with that, there's a couple of different ways that we can either make our own or buy a implement that does really well for shifting weight. One way to do it is a sandbag. Sandbags are, you know, kind of shifting, but unfortunately they don't shift as much as, as they need to be. Um, and once they shift into one position, they're kind of a, a fixed position. So um, if you use a sandbag, kind of like this, um, you know, you can use it for, you know, doing your cleans and doing some shifting load stuff, but it's not always that great. You know, you can do hip hinges with it, things like that, into a clean or into a press. Um, I really like to use sandbags for shouldering loads. So to teach somebody, you know what, you've got to go to the, you've got dogs, you've got to go to the grocery store, pick up a bag of groceries, specifically a bag of a 30 pound bag of dog food. How do you get that up and then onto your shoulder or up and into your cart or into the back of your car? I like to use sandbags for things like that. That's one great way to do it. When I really talk about variability or, or perturbation training, what I like to use is water because it's always active. Water's constantly moving. I didn't invent this. These have been around for a long time called slosh pipes. This is an easy do-it-yourself version. Um, this is a three-inch pipe, which is a little tougher to grab. We talked about grip strength training in one of our videos. This is one way that I train grip training. Um, this pipe has about 17, 18 pounds of water in it, shifts for me. These are only about five foot pipes, um, so I don't have to worry about the length too much, but I can, you know, bring this up, press it up overhead, bring it down. I can zerker carry this and do lunges or carries, and it's constantly moving that water. I'm trying to keep it steady, but the water's always moving back and forth on me. The more expensive version of that which is a lot like a, uh, a, lot like a, a, a log, is called the surge. Okay? The surge is a great exercise tool. Um, you can load it. You can you know, change the load here with the screw. You can change different loads. You'll see that I added, it only goes up to about 30 pounds. I added another mark for about 35 and kind of measured it out myself. It has handles. So now I can do my hinges. I can do rows with constant movement. I can pull it in press it up overhead while I'm constantly trying to keep that water nice and still. Um, it gives you some clean handle options, things like that too, but ultimately that's just a more expensive fancy slosh pipe with hard handles. Um, the slosh pipe proper does a great job. You can use two inch pipe. You can get longer lengths of pipe. It really doesn't matter what you're trying to do. Uh, I chose the three inch pipe just because it also you know, really works the grip strength side of it. And I don't fill them that heavy. Like I said, mine are only about 17 pounds a piece. Um, so they're not, too, they're not too crazy as far as how much load I have in them. But it can still be a good challenge for some of your fitness folks. So anyway, a couple of different ways that you can work on perturbation training or kind of functional training with shifting loads um, are right there. So feel free to enjoy those, play with them, make your own, come on by Longevity and, and you can you know, get a session and we can use some of the shifting loads. Let me know. If you have any questions, feel free to call me, email me, whatever. Remember that movement is the medicine. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Play around with some different exercises, some, some things that are a little bit less fixed, that are more functional. You guys have a good day. We'll see you next time.